There are five key skills or areas of expertise that Comptia Security Plus exam is going to test your knowledge about. And these key areas are called the five domains of Comptia Security Plus. This is Cyberculture Interface. If you are joining us for the first time, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. So today we are looking at the five domains of Comptia Security Plus. And these five domains are what Security Plus will test your knowledge about. In there are two versions of Security Plus. One of the versions is going to expire this month of July 2024, and that is version 601. This 601 also has five domains that will no longer be available after July 2024. And from next month, August 701 will be the only one available. And in subsequent videos, we are going to drill down more into each of these domains explaining the details what is expected we're going to pick it domain by domain but for uh, this video we're just going to have an overview of what this domain talk about now domain one domain one is going to test your knowledge of general security concept i can expect topics like uh that deals with types of security controls fundamental security concepts importance of chain management process and the use of cryptographic solutions. So under this, you are expected to be able to know how to compare and contrast security controls, know how to summarize fundamental security concepts, how to explain chain management processes and security impact, how to use appropriate cryptographic solutions. These are things that you are going to be tested on in domain one. Domain two is going to test your knowledge of threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations. And uh, here, we're going to look at topics that will be treating threat actors and motivations, vectors and attack surfaces, types of vulnerabilities, mitigation techniques, and indicators of malicious activities. So in these areas, you are going to see uh, or expected that your knowledge should be able to handle things like uh, cybersecurity frontiers, you know, attacks, knowing how attacks happen. So these attacks happen on three different frontiers majorly. We have the physical, the digital, and then the psychological, which is social. We talk about social engineering, you know, deep fakes, and phishing. And also, you're expected to be able to uh, understand attack vectors. And there are two major types of attack vectors, which um, is the application which deals with we'll talk about injection, things like security, SQL injection here, and then the network where you have DOS, you know, denial of service or distributed denial of service attacks. Also threat actors, you need to understand uh, what threaters, threat actors are. Think that APT, this advanced persistent threat, uh, script kiddies, black hat, white hat, gray hat hackers, all these are different kind of threat actors and you should be, this is your knowledge of these things uh, is going to be tested in domain two. Now we move on to domain three. Domain three will test your knowledge of security architecture. And then when you're talking about security architecture, you should expect topics that deals with things like architecture models and security implications, data protection concepts and strategies, security principles to secure enterprise infrastructure. You're talking about resilience, and recovery in security architecture. So under this, you are expected to understand or be able to you know, explain concepts like cloud, you know, hybrid, what a hybrid system or hybrid on-premises, you know, data, then things like infrastructure as a service, which is IES, software as a service, platform as a service, network infrastructure. So all these uh, will be tested. Your knowledge on these things will be tested. Then your knowledge on segmentation, uh, this may be talking about you know virtual networks domain uh, dmz you know the militarized zones these are areas things that you come across when you are talking about segmenting network for purpose of security then your knowledge of network appliances different failure modes port security you know when you're talking about appliances like maybe switches routers things like that failure modes RAID, redundancy system port security how do you secure your ports what do you do to handle port security. Also secure communication, things like virtual private network, remote access, SD1, you know, how do you ensure a secure remote access? How do you handle uh, virtual private network, VPN tunneling? These are all uh, security architecture uh, skills or understanding expertise that will be tested. Also, your understanding or your knowledge of data types, 
class data classification, securing data with hashing and encryption. All these things are will come up in your uh, in the exam. You should be able to explain this concept. Load balancing, you know, hot, cold, warm side. These are talking about resiliency. So these things will be tested also in the exam, or you should have an, have an understanding. Your knowledge of these things should be. Uh, will be tested business continuity backups power things like hvac you know, heating cooling and air air ventilation systems you know will be checked the knowledge in these areas will be checked then we look going to domain four domain four remember domain four has the highest number with about 28 percent you know of the questions coming from this area so your knowledge of security operations so it tells you the importance or the emphasis that computer security plus is placing on security operations so in this area you're expected to know uh topics you know things that deals with security techniques security alert and monitoring concept and tools vulnerability management activities security implications of proper you know hardware and software and data asset management we are looking at identity and access management automation and orchestration and incident response activities i can say these are the topics that you should look out for you know while preparing and studying for your exam then under this your knowledge of applying or how to apply common security techniques to computing resources you know you're talking about secure baselines what are baselines how do you harden targets wireless devices your knowledge of mobile solutions wireless security settings application security sandboxing and monitoring these are all Areas of expertise and knowledge that will be tested in the exam. And uh, good news that we're I'm going to, I'm still going to do videos. Subsequent videos will come up on how to uh, understand these things properly. Then your knowledge in area of security implications of proper hardware, software, and data asset management. So this will test your knowledge on data acquisition, accounting, data accounting, data monitoring, and data disposal. So you should uh, also uh, be sure of your knowledge in the area of vulnerability management activities. So you are dealing with uh, your skills in the area of identification, analysis, response, and remediation, validating remediation, how you do you report it. All these skills and areas will be tested in domain four. Also, security and Latin monitoring concepts. You know, we're talking about data loss prevention, DLPs, SC, CMs, you know, security event, security incidents and event monitoring, you know, all these will, are areas of expertise and skills that will be tested in domain four. Also, you are going to come across uh, your, your knowledge of how to modify uh, enterprise capabilities in order to enhance security. So we are dealing with things like intrusion detection systems and intrusion prevention system. This is IDS, IPS, talking about firewalls. What are understanding firewalls? There may be scenarios where the considerations about firewall settings will be asked. Email security, DNS filter, endpoint detection and response. All these are knowledge and skills that you will be tested on. How to implement and maintain identity and access management. You know, what are security automations and orchestrations? You know, this, how do you implement this? How do you, you know, apply this to uh, network or your systems incident response activities we talk about digital forensics threats hunting and etc these are all going to be tested or your knowledge of these areas will be tested then using data sources to support investigation so here we are looking at types of logs data logs how do you extract logs how do you source for log where your sources of logs then we are looking at things like firewall logs, DNS log, vulnerability scans, and packet capture. So we are we we are talking about how do you interpret logs? How do you explain logs? How do you look at logs, analyzing them, uh, and also vulnerability scans? What are the results we get from your, when you conduct vulnerability scans? How do you interpret them? Packet capture and also tools for you know using packet capture things like Wireshark, you know all these things. The knowledge and in these areas will be tested in domain four. So all this fall under your knowledge of security operations. Then we are looking at domain five. Here, domain five is your knowledge of security program and oversight. 
Topics covered will include things like elements of effective security governance, risk management process, which include your third party risk assessment, types and purpose of audits and assessment, security awareness practices, and elements of effective security compliance. So, if you are looking at this one, you are expected to understand guidelines, policies, standards, you know, things like acceptable use policies. And we are talking about standard, you are talking about password, what are you, you know? Pass policies that guide password setting, access control. We are also looking at procedures. You know, this involves change management, onboarding, offboarding. How do you consider offboarding? How do you ensure change management takes place properly? Or, you know, uh, or how is implementing change management policies, offboarding, offboarding? What do you do in this period? And also external considerations. This talks about regulatory and legal compliance implication so your knowledge of regulatory you know bodies have seen security or uh, cyber security different geography in different geographical locations also will be tested so you are looking at things like gdpr you know hp you know all those i have HIPA, all these kind of you know regulatory regulations and policies and standards will also be and also NIST and frameworks too then we are also looking at knowledge of monitoring and revision, you know, types of governance structures, we have boards, we have committees, rules and responsibility of system and data owners. You know, we have data owners, we have data controllers, we have data managers, all these things, knowledge in all and skills in all these areas will definitely will also be tested in the exam. Then we are looking at risk identification, risk assessment, risk analysis, vendor assessment, vendor selection, Agreements, you know, so SLAs, MOAs, MOU, SLAs are, you know, service level agreement, memorandum of association, memorandum of understanding, non disclosure agreement, all these things, your knowledge and understanding of them will be tested. Vendor monitoring, questionnaires, rules of engagement, these are things you should, you know, be aware of. Compliance reporting, consequences of non compliance, compliance monitoring and privacy. You know, attestation, internal, external penetration testing. Your knowledge in these areas will definitely be tested. So you're looking at topics that deals with phishing, anomalous behavior recognition, user guidance, training, report, training, reporting, how monitoring, developing, and execution. You know, take place. These are all things that your knowledge of security program management and oversight will help you to overcome so these are the five domain areas of scorpion security plus and you'll be tested in all these five areas of, do of domain so well, we are going to be looking at these topics subsequently in one domain after the other in subsequent video once again this is cyber culture interface please like share and subscribe to this channel you watch this over and over as you prepare for your computer security plus exam Thank you.